look, it's him. And there's a reason we're filming here. We're filming this video. Not only because it's our usual six monthly to a year video. <laughs> but he's moving. Somewhere with better lighting, hopefully. Yeah. Because I've read some of the yeah. comments like, no, please, like, they're going to buy a decent <laughs> light bulb. Yeah, like, I've oh. read them comments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, he's moving literally just down the road from me. So yes. if not, I'll bring my bloody light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> We'll yeah. do it on the beach. Yeah, why not? Or in the conservatory. <laughs> but what have you been playing over the past gajillion million Ooh. months? Oof, okay. That's a big list. Yeah. No, I think we should start off with the best one in the world that you let me play a minute ago. Oh, the road... Um, and, and, and Road Rage. Road Rage. Road Rage. Cheap on the store, on the Xbox store. Oh my god, I bought the wrong game. I just I had a quick go, and it's impossible to know how fast you go and hit something to actually fall off your bike. Yeah. You bounced just off the wall. Bounce. Uh, it was three quid. Yeah. And it has like really bad draw distance and it has this fog. It's a <laughs> silent hill with most cycles. Yeah. But what it's really hiding is the fact that like there's a wall there. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to draw it in quickly. Oh it's it's terrible, absolutely. But um, is that's the one we saw on the YouTube for advertising everywhere. No, it's Road Rush. Oh that's a different one, is it? Yeah, see, oh, I, I got thank confused. God for that, because that is that is awful. That's even worse than the other one you played. Yeah, um, Road to Hell, Ride to Hell, Ride to Hell. Yeah, you know we have. Has it got f fully close sex in that one? Is it? Not as far as I know at the moment. No. but I can't say oh. that I played too much of it. Oh, I should ask for a refund actually for that. Yeah. Yeah, I bought the wrong game. I thought it was Road Rush. You know. <laughs> let's talk about some good games. Uh, Purge Forza, the memory. <laughs> yeah, let, let's push that aside. Mm. Forza Horizon 4? You haven't played it yet, have you? No, I got 4, but the, pro the problem is I got it on launch day, but I left 3 for so long to play. So I had like 2 to 3 mm. weeks of solid playing Forza Horizon 3. Then I did Blizzard Mountain and all of it, and now I've just finished Hot Wheels and everything. Hot Wheels is awesome. And I'm kind of Forza'd out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I did like it. I freaking loved it, and I can't wait to play number 4. I played, I got it on Game Pass, mm. so I didn't actually, well... She's should big thumbs up tomorrow, because I thought it was awesome. Yeah, that's, you know, it's value for money, because yeah. I would have felt ripped off if I paid the full price for it, to be honest with you. Um, within a week... I didn't buy the Ultimate Edition at retail price. <laughs> How much was it? 70 quid? 80. <gasps> but I've always bought the Ultimate Edition, because I do like my 2 times XP and 2 times bonus rewards. But, um, no, I've done everything within a... Week and a half mm. of playing it. It says it online everywhere. You, 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 you know, you just finish the main stuff in about ten hours and yeah, some things. Yeah. And it doesn't feel as big as Australia. It's supposed to be bigger, but yeah. I don't think it's as big. And there's not enough. Yeah, it's to just do. basically Scotland, or is there more? Yeah, it's just to, Scotland. It's just Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you you race one of the um, what they call the big races. You race a train. Oh, the, yeah, I know what you mean. Showcase yeah. events. Showcase. So you race a train. You race. Is a it wearing cross. a kilt? The train, yeah, that's <laughs> because it's in Scotland, yeah. Well, AC Bond goes a lot because he's from Scotland, didn't he? Well, I thought it was Hogwarts Express, but it's, yeah, I keep telling it does look like it. It's the Orient Express, Orient isn't Express. It? no, it's yeah. Flying Scotsman. Oh, it's a Flying Scotsman, is it? Yeah, oh, okay, no, um, I haven't so played it yet. Race of Hovercraft, it's installed. Um, what's the other one you do? Oh, the Halo oh, event, yeah, no. I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking but forward to that. I'm so forward to that that it's going to be a few months down the line. Once you're done, you know, the, the little bit of the Edinburgh that you see is, is fantastic, but it all gets a bit samey. The other game, another game's uh, Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider. Yeah. Uh, what's oh it God, called? what's it called? Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah I'll get confused. Yeah. Um, really good. Looks spectacular on Xbox One X, especially with HDR. But and 4K and... Yeah. And and I think it actually runs nearly native. I know that... Um, Forza runs at native 4K at 30. Mm. You, you, there's two settings. There's 4K at 30 hertz. 30 you normally get performance or prettiness, yeah. don't you? Or you've got oh, yeah. like 60 frames per second, but it goes down to 1080. I'd run it at 4K. Yeah. Um, same with um, Tomb Raider. Looks amazing. You know, there's quite a lot to do, but mm. it's Tomb Raider. So you've played one, you've played two. That's what everyone one. says. That's the only problem. It's a really good game, but it's what you've already played, just a different yeah. place. Yeah. You said you didn't like the openness of the main area. Yeah, you got. I mean, there are two, two or three like open like areas. It's a hub areas. Hub, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hub areas. Mm. And there's certain missions you can do, but once you've done them, you know you've got to find a certain child is lost, or you have to go and talk to somebody about a dispute uh, or something. It's like, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of missions. Find your missions. Find your jobs. The yeah. um, challenge teams are really good, but. Mm. 
once again, you know, they get a bit of samey after this, after all. Mm. Um, it's all on the get list. The gunfight sections are not so much now because it's all more stealth. Yeah. You can cover yourself in mud. Yeah, and that's it now. That's you blend cool. into the environment. And, mm. uh, but there's only a couple of occasions that happens. Yeah. I was really disappointed. I thought you could do it in most places. Oh, but right. there's only certain like areas that you can do it in. Mm. And the puzzles are, are okay, but you know, nothing too taxing. Um, yeah. but it's almost it's all my to get this, so I'll probably see how it goes. It's quite shocking how neither of us has actually bought Assassin's Creed this year. And it's supposed yeah. to be the best one ever and we're kinda like eh, but it's just, it's when just, we see it cheap. <laughs> goodness, there's been so many games come out mm. in this one little section of the year. Yeah. Like Red Dead Redemption, Forza, Black Ops. Yeah. Um, but the thing is I absolutely loved the last Assassin's Creed when I got into it. But the grinding. It was grinding, yeah. 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 I mean this one I mean, Odyssey is supposed to be more RPG in it. Yeah. So there's even more grinding. Yeah, that. which I mean you go back to Black Flag, it was mm. RPG stroke action, it was more action, you know. Mm. And gone are the days of, like, I, I was playing the original Assassin's Creed the other day. Yeah. Because uh, it's back A long time ago. <laughs> but it was actually planning out a mission mm. where you have to stealthily kill somebody and yeah. assassinate. The assassinations are basically gone, so you're not an assassin yeah. anymore, really, are you? No. Just, you know, it's it's not like you know like the first one where you have this to. This is Sparta. Oh, you have sword, and you have to kick him off the cliff. Yeah, so. apparently that kick replaces everything. You can do anything with that kick, no matter how hard the boss is. That yeah. kick, apparently. Yeah. But you know, the first one you had to plan how you're going to assassinate the person. Yeah. And escape from there, mm. you know, and hide and all that. But yeah, I think the formulas. It's not the same. It's not as good. No. Well, there's going to be another year off anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, get, it, I'll, say, I'll get the same as Tomb, Tomb Raider? Tomb Raider when it's a bit cheaper. Yeah, I think, you know, if it comes down to a decent price, that's 20 quid, I'm mm, going to buy yeah. it. But that's my buy point as well. Yeah. That's my buy point for Spider-Man on the PS4, but... But it's... Yeah. it's um, it looks too much like Origins for me. Yeah. But it, it is, it's that same engine. It is, and it's yeah. just basically replacing Greece I'd with... have to play as the woman, though, because the woman looks total badass, the guy just looks like a whoop. Yeah. So the last Assassin's Creed I really enjoyed was the um, uh, one in London, Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate. Yeah, that, that was, was really awesome. good. I, I like the Jack the Ripper add on as well. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah, uh, Evie and Jacob. Yeah, Ferrari. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. and that. Um, oh, but his game of the moment, which he's been oh. religiously living on. Let me guess. Give you a clue. This is Richard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. It's come to that cycle again, isn't it? It's Call of Duty, Black yeah. Ops. I don't play any other. Four. Gone on the multiplayer days. Uh, the single player. Single sorry. player days. Yeah, say. So no, but it, it doesn't. I never really played the single. I was only in single players. Oh, you're into multis, but I'm yeah. into singles. But the single player. I mean, you've got the battle royale mode, which is fantastic. Yeah. Big open spaces. Fortnite stroke player unknowns battleground. Well, PUBG is gone. It's buried. Mm. This 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 has buried it. Yeah. You know and. Um, Battlefield Five has got to live up to some kind of because it's fantastic. Oh, yeah, well that's coming out soon, isn't it? Yeah, because mm. it was delayed. Yeah, because they played. So what else was delayed? Sonic Team Racing by four months. <gasps> oh, oh no! <laughs> Gonna miss that. Yeah. Um, I still buy it when it comes out. <laughs> the multiplayer on Black Ops Four yeah. is still amazing. It's fast paced. It's really mm. good. Um, World War Two was really good as well, but. Yeah. You know, playing Black Ops Four is really fast and fluid. It's the many, it's the ready money round. <laughs> the worst thing I I do is I I play Black Ops Four and there's a bit there you don't regenerate your health automatically. Ooh. So yeah. you have to reject yourself when your health gets yeah. low. Mm. So I went back to playing World War Two. Yeah. And I pushed left bumper to reheal myself. Yeah. And I threw a flashbang or something. <laughs> Yeah, just it's like when you play Gears of War and you have to play in a normal game and you don't have to reload your gun. It's so strange not having to reload your gun. Yeah, but, uh, you push the right bumper and you yeah. have to hit that line just to reload quicker to get the yeah. extra damage kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else have we been playing? I got the um, Sonic. No, uh, stuck in. I got the uh, Sega Mega Drive collection, which was mm. yeah. It's all right. I think they've done a solid job in it, and you can actually complete any game without you know without dying. Because as soon as you die, you just tap rewind. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> yes, <laughs> so good. Uh, Joe, my my dream for that pack is that I really wish they that game they would release game packs. You know, say here's another five games for to add to five it, quid, to yeah. your shelf. That yeah. would be amazing because you can see the opportunity there. But yeah. No, I, I enjoyed it. I have played very little. I got the Sonic Get 500 Rings achievement. That's pretty much maybe one or two other achievements. Well, but I have nearly all the games on cartridge and Mega Drive. Well, anyway. no. But I can't get achievements with them. My daughter played it. She went, Dad, that's a bloody hell. No, it was one game that she got really addicted to Columns. Columns. I love that game. That was fantastic. Do, 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 yeah. do, do, do. But yeah, she's playing some of these games. Golden Axe. Oh, game. I love Golden Axe. Mm. Streets of Rage as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Done a bit of co-op with my son with that, it was fantastic. Mm. Speaking um, of Streets of Rage, have you seen the Streets of Rage 4 trailer? No, I haven't. But yeah, it's basically it's another Streets of Rage, but they've gone with the... Do you remember Wonder Boy and the Dragon Strap? They released it. It's that company right. that have basically done that sort of artwork on the new Streets of Rage. Oh. I think it looks alright. It'll be interesting to see when it comes out. So. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's cheap enough. I mean, side scroll and beat it'll be It'll be 8 quid, 8 to 10 quid, 8 to 12. Yeah. Yeah, so. Do you remember that um, game we played, A Way Out? Yeah. And there was a side scroll and beat em up section in that. Yeah, that was that weird. That was, was quite cool, actually, yeah, to so, see that. So we got, um, we didn't talk about picking it up, did we? No. no. Yeah, so um, he picked up A Way Out, and it's, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the game. It's a story based game, people that the Brothers? Brothers, yeah, yeah Taylor Two Sons, yeah. And it's really cool because basically Richard bought it, and what you do is. Is as long as you own it, anyone that downloads a demo can play it with you. There's a catch. No achievements. Yeah, only he got the achievements. He finished it. But it's really cool. It's a really cool. Great. I mean, we played for it in about what three nights. Yeah. Three, it's a three good, short nights, weren't yeah. it? Really. It's a good miss. A mm. good um, like mismatch of like different characters, different story, um, different yeah. like game modes. Like yeah. there's a side scroll and beat 'em up. There's uh, the one where you have to. Oh, do you remember the one we done? Like you had to dig the hole out of the wall in the prison cell, and you had to watch oh, for the guard. Oh yeah! But the yeah. guard just kept lingering yeah, outside but, our yeah. cell. And then there's two guards, and then they was like in sync. So as soon as one had walked past, the yeah. other one was there, so we could dig the hole of the wall out. But yeah, and then there's a bit where you have to climb up. You, uh, you back to back, back to back, climb up. Yeah, 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 that was cool. But and then the, the driving section as well yeah. went, oh, because you was driving and I was shooting. Shoot the gun, yeah. Yeah. That was pretty but cool. But it, it just, you know, diff loads of different story, you know, different kind of, you know, it wasn't just third person. It was yeah. like a lot of different yeah. different ways of playing. Different genres all putting together. And lots of, little, um, like, you could play drafts, you could mm. play darts. Yeah. You know, all these little side things and baseball. you could do. Yeah, and baseball. Well. So yeah. while he was playing baseball, I was looking around the trailer or doing another yeah. thing because it splits in Getting achievements for doing other stuff was I couldn't get any. But uh, it was it was really good actually. Yeah, um, that was awesome. That. that that was really good. I mean, say because we'd always plan on playing it together anyway, and you picked it up for you know, well, 15, fifteen quid. quid yeah, I mean, but that's about the right price because yeah. it's not. It shouldn't be a full blown game. No, a full blown price. But that was really good. It's one of the better games I've played this year. And you he can't... didn't fall asleep once. No, no. <laughs> I've learned to stay awake now. <laughs> he says. Yeah. But um he used to be a stone's throw distance away soon. He was up falling asleep when he kept the door. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Spash. <laughs> but um it, yeah, it was it was really good. I mean, you know, Brothers is one of my favourite yeah. games of all time as well. Mm, it's the way the storytelling is done. Another game I played, I uh, I played the new Trials game, Close Beta, which was... I like them, but they get so hard. Yeah. So yeah, hard. they are... I want to kill every pad on the planet. Yeah, it is mm. intensely hard, but it's out next year, but it's looking really good. Mm. It's looking really good. And I'm tempted to play Crisis 3 on the backward compact list. Yeah. I've got Crisis 1 that I can actually play now. Yeah, uh, what else have we been playing? Oh, Shenmue. I've gone back to Shenmue from mm. the original Dreamcast days. I'd like to play Lucky Hit. Oh, I love that. I yeah. love the idea that you could just, I mean, if you go back to, when was it, 2006, was it? Something like that. You I know, how that. it was a big open world for that time. Yeah. Where you could walk into yeah. an arcade, you know, an arcade in the game yeah. and play games yeah. at, in the arcade. Yeah. I've just spent a lot of time playing Space Harrier and... Um, Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Super Hang On. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, such, it's such a bargain price, 25 quid for both games. And they tidied them up, they got them running, and there's still updates all the time to try and sort issues out. Yeah. When you say Paige played one and two to death, 
Get ready for number three. Where's the Xbox announcement for that? Because we know it's going to happen. It's just when. Yeah. The only thing I, I, you know, obviously with the modern controllers, mm. the controllers, you know, walking around is a bit weird. You know. Yeah. It's it takes a bit of getting used to. <laughs> um, yeah, but they are fantastic. I mean, I remember playing through them when I was, you know, many many years ago with the Dreamcast. And uh, I haven't played for number two. I've, I, I played. I got about a quarter of the way into number two. Um, I haven't played number two yet. So mm. I really because that came out on the three six. Was it three six? Eight, no, original. Original Xbox. Mm. Um, but it was quite rare. Yeah. I never got my hands on a copy of it. I got four copies at home. The thing, it came with Shenmue. The, it came with Shenmue the uh, movie as well. Oh, okay. But the thing is, when I. I Maintain started collecting. It wasn't rare. No one gave a toss about it. So I, I was picking. I picked uh, one copy for a pound, one for two pound. It was just dirt cheap. And now, of course, yeah, you know. I mean, the thing is, this is a remaster. I mean, I don't know if you're still going to want it. No, um, but taking some license stuff out, but that was about it. Yeah, like the Coke cans yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been playing War Games, which is an FMV kind of. Mm. Um, I played one a while ago called. I don't know what it's called now. <laughs> but it was like a, a, a heist thing. Yeah, because you spoke about it in your last video. Yeah, it was really, really good. Lots yeah. of different ways you can choose to go through the game. Yeah. War Games is pretty much the same thing. It's, um, it is a follow up to, it's kind of for the original War Games, Madison Broderick's. Oh, right, is it? Film. Yeah. Oh, so cool. It's really good. From what I've played of it, um, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So, I'm going down my list, whether you please. Yeah, it's what we do every time because you can't remember. Yeah. I'll get another on Rush, played on Rush, which is part of the um Xbox uh, Game Pass. Yeah. I didn't like it. Isn't I was that expecting the people that did Motorstorm. Motorstorm, see I yeah, love Motorstorm. Because they're gone now, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They're all gone now. I love Motorstorm. I what played is, it. What is the twist on On Rush? Because apparently it's not just a normal driving game. No, it's like a team based racing game. Is there guns in that or not? No. There's not. It's right. bashing people off the track, but it's team based. Yeah. How many of your team get past the checkpoints and all this? And Do it's you know what game I'd love if that was compatible? Blur. Oh, vaguely I remember love that. that game. Yeah, Project Gotham people. Yeah. 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 Oh, Project. I would. I wish you know they would do. You know, I wish I want to play the original Project Gotham games again mm. because they were absolutely brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Number two though is just like the world's loneliest game. There's like one thing that moves all the way through it. What's the one with bikes? Uh, Project, from th Project from four. They added them near the end of it. The yeah, end. yeah, that was cool. That was really good. Um, so on Rush, it's it's it looks good. Plays like it, it should do for Motorstorm, but mm. at the end of the day, it's confusing. I, I was over that on thick, but I didn't understand. I was just driving around. The mm. tracks are boring. The cars are boring. It was boring. Boring. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to say it. Yeah. Uh, What's been your favourite, I suppose, other than Call of Duty? We're not including Call of Duty. I've been playing some games on the PC. Because... Mm. Um, you just bought another Monster PC, by the way. Today, literally, as I turned up, I you, get off this beat, look what I've got. Yeah. <laughs> it is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, Alienware, can't go wrong with them. Um, it's huge. <laughs> I've been playing Vampire. Still playing Vampire on the PC. Oh, yeah, it's like an RPG vampire. Yeah, that's um, cool. I like that. That's really good. Mm. It was a it was a picture of um, it was on Facebook. It made me laugh. There's a picture of Saving Private Ryan, and it said, "This is how you you know this is how you thought your games looked in the day." Yeah. And there's a picture of the Call of Duty game where you're on the beach. Like, yeah. It, it was awful. When you go, but this is the reality of it. You know, this is yeah. This is the thing about old games. You know, you, in your mind's eye, they look absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant, but when you play them again, you go, oh, Christ, that the, was bad. The, what brings back the most is when you go back to playing original PlayStation games. That's yeah. what sticks out the most, because I go back and I'm like, what? The, the game that I will always play on a PlayStation is Ridge Racer, mm. because I have lots of... And that, and I've still got it, the Wing Commander 3. Yeah. Love that game, mm. but the original Ridge Racer, because it was one of the first games I bought. So good. Yeah, I got it as well. Yeah, because I remember how, how fun it took you forever to bloody get it, didn't it? Yeah. Pulling apart the M original m m shop for him, and it was, was it? Road Rage, or no, Ridge Rage, what was it called? Rage Racer. Rage Race, yeah, hundreds of copies of that. Yeah. yeah. It's that's just, this is what I'm really annoyed with. You know, the um, PS Mini yeah. has um, Ridge Racer 4, I think, or Ridge yeah, Racer. Why? 
No, it's got to be the Ridge Crash be Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, Ridge Racer. Porsche Challenge. Uh, um, I'd say Resident Evil as well. Yeah, oh god, yeah. Yeah. And I was trying to think of that other one where you play like a jester and a woman and it's a jump. Pandemonium. Pandemonium, yes. Yeah, and Jumping game. Flash. Jumping Flash is on there though, isn't it? I can't, I've not seen the list. I know, I know of a few, but I've not actually seen the list. Yeah, I know they've not announced the full list yet, have they? And do you remember the first mech game? I can't remember, it was like an FMV mech. Crazy Ivan. Crazy Ivan, oh my god, I had that on the Saturn. That was really good as well. I am getting the Sega Mega Drive Mini now that Sega are actually making it and not at games. Thank you, Sega. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, you know, this, this time of year is crazy busy with games, you know. It's, yeah. It doesn't help when you've just had to spend out so much money on moving and, mm. you know, and all these games come out, like Red Dead Redemption 2, which I really want to play. Yeah. Um, I know that I'll lose my life to that, so I can't get a game like that. Yet. Yeah. So, you need to get Knack 2 so we can play for it. My PlayStation 4 is dying. Well, that's one day we're going to So, what about films then? That's your, that's your game's highlight. What about films? Loads, 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 loads. I see The Nun. My kids went to see uh, BTS in the O2 arena. While I was waiting for them, I went to watch The Nun. And apart from some annoying idiots sat behind me, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's my first there. experience in the cinema of actually having the main screen at the front and then two screens come alive at certain parts at the side. And it was really freaking cool. Have you been to IMAX yet? No, never. IMAX. I know you love your IMAXs. We always go, when I go up to Liverpool, I go to the one in Manchester, mm -hmm. and it is just phenomenal. Every single time. Yeah, <laughs> I have to. Yeah. You know, it's it, if you're going to go and watch a, a film, I mean, this actually makes your chest vibrate, you know. It's it's the real power of the sound and everything yeah. else, you know. Yeah. And the screen is so big, it's just unbelievably awesome. We watched mm. the Meg up there last time we were there, yeah. and it was... I like the Meg. I, I The ending ruined it for me, though. I yeah. didn't like the ending. But other than that, I thought it was good. Uh, it was predictable, by the numbers, fun. The thing is, I wanted the Meg to be, like, five times bigger than it was. I wanted it to be huge, but... Yeah. Yeah. He died too easily. Yeah. It's, it's like, a shark. It's I think they just, like, went, oh, Christ, we ran out of Sharks money, we better more. end this somehow. Yeah, based on a novel, isn't it? So yeah, uh, Joseph Statham. <laughs> yeah, what else have you seen then? Uh, right, we're going. Uh, I'm going through. I saw the new Johnny English movie. Yeah, this month that was brilliant. Boff's back, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, this was and cool. the bit with the VR. Oh my God, I never laughed so much in my life. It I was. Never, I haven't seen anything. So so funny. If you get a yeah. chance, I mean, it was really good. Mm. Yeah. I always like, I like Rowan Atkinson as well, because I like yeah. the Dean movies. And, He's you know. awesome. I watched an interview with him recently where they were saying that they were looking in the archives of um, Black Admiral trying to find, like, when Rowan Atkinson made mistakes, and he just didn't. No? Because he's that sort of actor. He just didn't. Simple as that. That's fantastic. Yeah, cool. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yes, so Ant-Man and the Wasp. Was awesome. So much better than I thought it would be. It really, really good. But please, Michelle Pfeiffer, stop the, the, the <laughs> cosmic the surgery, because your face isn't right anymore. Yeah, it was it was good. Mm -hmm. I didn't think really much of the first one. It was okay. It was a film that needed to be made. But let's be honest, it's his mates that make the film. Yeah. Because they are Michael so cool. I don't remember the name. Is it Michael Banner? They'd be like, yeah, we'd be like, yeah, learn your man, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Uh, I like the way the building just shrunk and he just pulls out the handle yeah. and just uses it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When like, he's in the water, of course, when he's so big he gets tired really quick because he burns out, doesn't yeah. he? Uh, he just goes, cool. Yeah. Um, Oh, the bit in the cupboard, when he was in the school, when he had to hide in the cupboard, and his chip, uh, oh, and he, he just he shrinks, and he's like one third or something. And then he gets to the cupboard and just bigger. expands, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I like the bad get woman ghost as well, she's pretty cool. She's from Ready Player One. Yeah. Ah, Finale. Ah, I right, was. I thought she looked familiar. Yeah. yeah she's cool. And, and it's really Tomb weird Raider. seeing Morpheus in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because Dave... Oh, was before, she actual Tomb Raider? No, she was in Tomb Raider. Ah, right. Yeah. You see Morpheus in... I knew he had to turn up everywhere because I'm sure there's a few actors left that haven't appeared in a Marvel film. Not many. Morgan Freeman. There's a few. Give him time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is going to be Avengers next Avengers. Yeah. Alright, this is God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right? Literally, he will play God. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, okay. Uh, another one, Searching, which is... I'm looking down on my list. Um, bear in mind, he watches a film a day. No, not, not every day, but... No. I mean, I, I, I watch about three films a week as well. 
I don't sleep much, so mm. yeah. Um, searching, it's basically a <laughs> set using the guy's web camera, and it's a father whose daughter disappears. Oh, like unfriended sort of thing. Yeah, it? she yeah. disappears, and he tries to track her down yeah. um, through her friends list, social media, mm. um, and it is really edge of your seat kind of viewing. It's really good. I'm not going to remember that. Try and get it. But it's really, mm. really good. Um, I'm halfway through the spy who dumped me, but um, <coughs> oh, Mamma Mia! Here we go again. What a load of bloody crap! Meh, it's all right. I love the first one. Mm. Unfriended dark web. That's I a sequel. Seen it, yeah, yeah I, I want to see that. Um, yeah, Mamma Mia! Uh, Cher, stop having plastic surgery again because she can't move her face. I do. Yes, I have it actually. Say, I, I, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Let's hug everyone. Oh, look, my arms work properly. I wish they did watch the film and you'll see what what I mean. I didn't like the bit of intersecting, going back in time, going forward, back to the present. But see, I, I didn't. The thing like is, that. I found that the best part about it. But at the same time, if if they're going to do what they did to the main star, then they've got to find a way to tell the story to put it in. I yeah. mean, when, when certain person comes back at the end, you can see she's been ill because she when she sings, something's not right in her face. I don't know if you noticed it. No, I didn't really. Yeah, no. By the end, I was half was... asleep, so I was like, oh. you in the cinema, half asleep. No, was at home. home. <laughs> you at home half of what you uh, yeah. I'll get up early. Uh, skyscraper, we talked about Skyscraper. Yeah, I've got to see that. I keep forgetting about them. Awesome. Them. Really good. Die Hard meets Taron Inferno. That's all I can say about that. With The Rock. Oh, The Rock and everything. I've got two main stars that I really like at the moment, and they're both ex-wrestlers. The Rock. And Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista, yeah. Both brilliant, because... Um, I like. Bautista needs to appear in Fast and Furious, doesn't he? He does really, yeah. yeah he, he's As a bad guy. Yeah, I mean, he's been in Bond. Yeah. You know, yeah. He, he's used to be in Marvel. We know he's going to be in another film, but he's pretty much done now. Um, I loved him in Blade Runner, twenty forty nine. Yeah. Um, Incredibles two. I watched it. Hated it. Loved the first one. Well, kind of loved the first one. Mm. Second one, it was a snooze fest. But. I'm going to see the Queen biopic tomorrow, Bohemian Rhapsody, so I'm looking forward to that. Should have been Sasha. Should have been yeah, Sasha. I, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the new, the new dude, good, yeah, but should not be him. No. Mm. He just doesn't have the same... He's got the lip. They went for the lip, didn't it? The top lip. Yeah, but That's it's more than for. that. It's... They shoved loads of extra teeth in his mouth. And... But Sasha Baron Cohen had the same body shape and yeah. the same height just and the same clone. mannerisms. Just a clone. And yeah. he wanted to do it, but they turned around and said to him, if you do it, people see you as a comedian rather than a straight actor. Well, mm. straight, sorry, I know Freddie Baker was gay, but yeah. you know, it's... Yeah. So, and there's only a tiny little bit of that in the film, by the way. Well, that was a big part of his life, well, wasn't it? I will definitely watch it, yeah. I will definitely watch I'll it. I'll let you know tomorrow when I come out and yeah. um, tell you what I thought. Well, let me know what happens to him. Does he die? <laughs> Does he die at the end? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Queen? Do they get famous? <laughs> Did they make it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're still kind of <laughs> suffering. Um, they must need somebody to love. Yeah. Right, the other one, Upgrade. So Upgrade. Absolutely fantastic. Little, small budget movie. Uh, it's about a guy who gets paralysed, and this guy, um, like a genius inventor, like a Bill Gates, oh, right. kind of Steve Jobs thing, mm. um, gives him uh, an implant. Which takes over his body, but mm. this implant talks to him. It's got it's an AI. Yeah. So when they're in the fight, the AI says to him like, "I can't do anything. I have to have your permission to engage." So it's like Doc Ock's arms from Spider Man too. So he goes, "Yeah." So yeah. then the, the chip takes over and he fights like a uh, you know he, Ninja? unbeatable. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That's what said. Ocean Eight. Uh, let's see about that. Yeah. Patient Zero is quite quite a good film. It stars Matt Smith. As a guy in a post-apocalyptic world who can actually talk to the zombies. Mm. He speaks their language. So they capture one and he tries to learn out, learn about how and why they're doing what they're doing. What was it we watched when I came round last? Deadpool, Deadpool 2. What? The thingy cut. Oh, the super long, oh, dupe, my super God. duper cut. The, the post credit screen is so much better. I can't believe it. You have to, if you've seen it in the cinema... You've seen a good, a mildly good version of it. 
The other cut is so good. I like the bit where he goes to the polar, you know, he's so depressed and he jumps in the polar bear. Yeah. Or the bear, you know, <laughs> he falls off the building. Yeah. You know, it's it's really good. Is it, and the, the one bit where, um, I won't spoil it, but they've added like a certain bit to the ending where because if you know the ending, he, tr- he goes back to try and change things. Oh, There's just shit. one certain bit I know where about everyone's that. morals will be like, can I do it? Can I, you watch that? <laughs> it's a good question. You'd have to try and ask yourself. I'll leave it to... to I don't think I could. Was it fire fish? So he's good yeah. at killing kids or something. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. Uh, yeah, I actually caught up with the Equalizer. I've never seen that. That's yeah, really good. Yeah, he's just done a sequel, isn't he? Yeah, well, mm. I, I want to see. Um, I used to watch the original series with Edward, Edward Woodward. Woodward. It was brilliant. Mm. Um, Someday, I will ask you for a favour. Yeah. <laughs> if no, that was the A team. Sorry, I was going to say if you're out there, nobody else can help. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can hire the, the Equalizer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, it was it was awesome. I really, yeah, I was. It's late. It was so late. Well, it was about like half past twelve or something. What uh, Deadpool two? No, um, the Equalizer. When oh, it was on at night. yes, yeah. Uh, but it was so good. Once you started watching it, you could never. I, think, I don't remember a single episode. I remember the the theme tune was made by Stuart Copeland. I just remember him sat. It was like a, a really cool police. The police drummer, I believe. Mm, I believe. Uh, I'm trying to go through my list because I have a list of films that I have watched. Okay. Tomb Raider. Yeah, I it? enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I think, it's I think I've got to go back and watch it again. Yeah. Picked up on 4K Blu-ray the other day. I picked up Ghost in the Shell, which now, was awesome. Yeah, I from start to finish, that film was amazing. It's such a good film. She, she, she's perfect for the role. From start to finish, fantastic. When she fights the tank. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. The guy yeah. that plays like the main psychic general was a bit wrong though he just didn't seem like the right thing yeah so i'm picking up um obviously i've, I've got a um, he's got 4k so he's going for like four clay four clay i've got two 4k but i've got the xbox one x mm. and i've got a dedicated 4k blu-ray player yeah um do you know like uh hmv and asda do two for 30 quid i can ask well cheap which i think is pretty good mm. Um, so and also I've been going into CX. Yeah, they do some pretty cheap. Yeah, I've seen like three or four quid in there as well sometimes. Yeah, I picked up um, uh, Ghost in the Shell for a tenner in four K. That's good worth it. But uh, it's the thing is, Blu-rays and I've got, I I still get some Marvel Blu-rays. I'm so far behind. They were actually just brought them all out in four K as well. Mm. But, um, I'm also going to go and see Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Is the follow-up to that? Yes. I'm going to see that. That looks awesome. The Crimes of Grindelwald. That's it, yeah. Johnny Depp. Yeah. Who's just been fired from the Pirates of the Caribbean scene. <laughs> it, yeah. it, Pirates is not going to be the same then, is it really? No. He is. He is Pirates. Yeah. Um, I really love any Harry Potter film, you know. And I, I, I like the first Fantastic Beasts. The guy that plays the main character, I never fucking remember his name, ever. But he was Stephen Hawking's film. Uh, he's absolutely brilliant. I don't like him in mumbles. Yeah, I know you don't like him. But, but he's, he's English. He's, he's Hugh Grant. And the whoops are daisy. Oh, I can't stand him. <laughs> oh, one last film I saw was Hotel Artemis. Oh, which yeah. Which is really, remember. really good. I've got to see that. Um, it's Jodie Foster. Um, it's Jeff Goldblum. What's his name? Charlie Day. Mm. Um, how, how Dave long, Batista. How long Jeff Goldblum was in the new Jurassic World? I knew it was only going to be a tiny little bit. I knew it. Well, this yeah. the Hotel Artemis is basically um, it's set during a riot in the near future. Um, and this Hotel Artemis is a place where all the gangsters go to get patched up when they're injured, like the robbers. I remember that, yeah, I remember seeing the trailer for it. And um, basically, um, there's a uh, a gangster coming in a really bad like, he actually owns it yeah um, but also there's an assassin in there that's going to kill him mm. but it's the way he plays out it's really good but yeah that's yeah. about it really and um, this is the last thing we're this is do, your so. six monthly update it's <laughs> yeah. your six to ten monthly update yeah right, so next time we do this I'll have, have lightning brighter lights lightning <laughs> yeah and <laughs> we're not roasting because last time yeah. we sat here in the, roasted. In, in the summer, this house was no matter where you're the hottest house on the planet. Yeah. I'd come around and I, I'd boil in the corner because he'd be literally laying on his fans. <laughs> well, I've got the air conditioner in the bedroom. Well, that was on full blast. Uh, it was nice when you go lay in bed. It's like, oh, it's cold in here. Like the video and 
subscribe and like leave comments and stuff. And we You'll see him back. again in six months' time. No, we'll do one when we moved in in January at yeah. some point. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Did you fall asleep? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it's bad tonight.